Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Oh my god. Hell no. Yo, I'm Avi, and today we're gonna be trying out weird food combinations. Quickly, I would just like to say that I'm going to make proportions for some of these foods really small because I do not want to waste food, so. That makes sense. Cutting board, butter knife, pickles, peanut butter, bread. The first food combo we're gonna have is a peanut butter sandwich with pickles. This is something that you guys wanted. These food combinations were recommended by you guys on my Twitter. My Twitter is at Avi Akbar. I'm going to make this now. <laughs> Oh no, the juices! Mmm. <laughs> fucking love pickles. So we got our peanut butter bread and the pickles. I'm gonna fold this up and I'm just gonna fucking bite it. That's so weird. I kind of like this. People are gonna be looking at me funny if I ever do this in public, but like, this is not bad at all. Cause like, peanut butter is like sweet and that's like salty and it mixes together so well. I wouldn't do this crazy often. I'd do it again though. Mm -hmm. I give that a thumbs up. Next up, we have pickles and Oreos. I got a fresh bag of Oreos. This one broke in half. Unfortunate, man. Unfortunate. Perfectly, perfectly untwisted, man. I'm gonna grab this remaining pickle. Boom. Just like that. Toss it on there. Just like that. I'm just gonna sandwich it. Bone apple tea. Okay. So, Oreos are really sweet. Pickles are salty. They don't really, like, mix together well, like the peanut butter. I'm giving that a thumbs down. Because I really like Oreos by themselves. Like, Oreos and milk, it's delicious. But, like, I would, I don't think I'd ever mix pickles and Oreos again. It wasn't horrible, but, like, not something I'd do it again. Next up, we have something that should probably be considered a crime. Orange juice and Oreos. Who thought of this? You know what? I'm gonna treat it like it's milk. I don't have high expectations for this at all. Not in the slightest. Hold on. Hold the fuck up. Let me just let me just make sure I tasted that correctly. <laughs> ah. That's fucking weird. If you guys like orange creamsicles, that is exactly what that tastes like. That was pretty decent. Way better than I expected. I expected this to kind of taste like not good. Like, you know how like you like brush your teeth and you drink orange? I expected it to be like that. Have that same sort of effect. I was so wrong. Not bad. Not bad at all. I thumbs up. Nice. Next up we have mustard and Oreos. Little fun fact, I hate mustard a lot. I know for a fact I'm not going to like this. So this is a biased opinion. Ugh. Not as clean as the first one, but like, it's fine. That makes weird noises. I might throw up after this. That's how much I hate it. All right, so we got a little, little glob right there. And then you just smush it down. No. <clears throat> Why would you, why would you ever do that to yourself? Who likes mustard? Now we have watermelon and mustard. This was a TikTok trend. Some people liked it, some people didn't. I'm gonna be one of the people that don't like this cause I fucking hate mustard. I do like watermelon, however. I'm a trained professional. Don't, don't do that if you're not a trained professional. Oh. Would this be a bad time to say I've never cut a watermelon in my life before? I think I kind of killed that though. Oh. And now we see I'm not gonna throw away the watermelon after that. Fucking love watermelon. So don't, don't get the wrong idea. Okay, I think it's too much. Fuck. The watermelon begin. Oh my God. No, that's all. Thumbs down, two thumbs down, holy. 
There's no mustard on that part, for the record. Usually worse than the fucking Oreo and, and mustard. Mm -mm. Next up is watermelon and salt. I don't think this will be horrible, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just put some salt on there. Relatively easy. I feel like this, I feel like this can't be that bad, right? It can't be, it's salt and watermelon. That's weird. I don't like it. It's not horrible. I wouldn't do it again. But if someone gave it to me and they're like, yo, here's some watermelon and salt, I'd be like, okay. But like, I wouldn't go out of my way to make it. Maybe it needs more salt. Round two. Nope, that just made it worse. Okay, um, not a fan. Thumbs down. Cream cheese and Flamin' Hot Cheetos. <clears throat> I just regurgitated some watermelon. That is gross. Spare the quitters though. We swallowed that shit. Uh, <laughs> that was fucking disgusting. Next up, we have cream cheese and hot Cheetos. I don't have a whole lot just because I'll be using the cream cheese for breakfast tomorrow. Well, cream cheese on your motherfucking hot Cheeto. Cheers. It's just, like, you can't go wrong with this. I feel like cream cheese with anything spicy is like almost always good, right? Because it balances out. I mean, this is like wildly unhealthy, but like, for those of you who can't handle spice or hot Cheetos, this is, this works and it tastes phenomenal. I give this two thumbs up. I enjoy this. Mm -hmm. Kobe. Nice. Next up we have strawberries. I have light strawberries and regular strawberries. I don't know where the frick my parents got these from. I'm gonna be honest with you. I have no idea. We got them for a party or something like that. Um, so we have leftover white strawberries and regular strawberries with cream cheese. We're gonna try one with the white strawberry and then we're gonna try one with the red strawberry. So I've never, I've never actually had one of these. We just have, I think they, they're gonna taste the same to be honest with you, but. They don't taste the same. That was weird. I don't know if I, hold on, let me, let me taste the difference between these two. Okay. These are sweeter. These look cooler. Do we need more cream cheese? I can't even taste the cream cheese. Like, I don't know. I feel like this is just pointless. Yeah, I, I, you, you, no. I do like strawberry whipped cream cheese though, but like this, you can't, I can't even taste it. I really can't. I'm even not a thumbs down. Before we move on to the next food, I just want to let you guys know that I do stream on Twitch every single day, Monday through Saturday at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys want to come hang out, watch me play video games, and interact with me, come join. It's a lot of fun. Twitch.tv slash Avi Akbar. This next dish I have to prepare, so give me two seconds. Next up, we have an absolute classic. Grilled cheese with banana on the inside. This is not really a classic. Oh my God, it's like coming out everywhere. Fuck, this is hot. Um, That's kind of what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can really, oh, my fingers are burning. Kind of hot. It just came out of the panini press. I use a panini press. I'm fancy like that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's really hot. I might give it a sec to like cool down because I don't want to burn my mouth. We're gonna do it anyways. Hot. Ooh. Ooh. Hot. Ooh. I don't like this at all. And it's hot and it burned my mouth. Two thumbs down. I'm still gonna finish it though. Hot. I'm not finishing the other quarter. I'm sorry. My dogs are gonna get that one. Cheese, bread, banana. It's what they love, man. That is not good at all. Water break. This video is sponsored by water. Drink some. It's good for you. Next up we have ketchup and white rice. I don't know who the fuck would ever decide to do this, but like, I'm just gonna like drizzle it on there. Like that. Dig in, right? You can't taste the fucking rice. Rice doesn't have a flavor. It just tastes like fucking ketchup, man. No, thumbs down. If you really like ketchup, I mean, fucking go for it. But like, in my opinion, this is a waste of rice. 
so many good things you can do with rice. This is not one of them. No, thank you. Now we have ketchup and popcorn. I don't know where the fuck people come up with these ideas. Do I support them? Absolutely not. Popcorn is fucking delicious and absolutely does not need to be tainted by fucking ketchup. I love ketchup, don't get me wrong. But these are just like two things that like should not get mixed together in my opinion. That being said, let's mix them. What? What? No, that's, I'm not gonna even bother. I'm just gonna eat the popcorn. Mm -mm. That's a thumbs down. I don't like that at all. And I've seen pictures of people just like drowning their popcorn in ketchup. No, absolutely not. Uh -uh. That's disgusting. Mm. Next up we have an apple and salt and pepper. Why not? That'll do. Oh, I, I just assume I just toss the, the pepper and the salt. It looks like that. Cheers. Mmm. Mm -mm. Oh my god. Hell no. Mmm. Two thumbs down. That's atrocious. Who does that? Why? What? Okay, so we have bread, butter, and sugar. It's brown sugar because we don't have white sugar. Bread, butter, and sugar sandwich. I can't imagine to be bad. Who doesn't like bread? Who doesn't like butter? Who doesn't like sugar? Du -du -du -du. Just, you just toss on this bitch like this. A little samba action. Oh yeah. Boom. Um, so that's what that looks like. Um, now I'm going to fold it in half because I only did one half. Yep. It's good. Wildly unhealthy, but it's good. I don't think I'd go out of my way to eat this though. Okay, I'm also like, I tend to eat healthy. Um, to an extent. This is just way past that boundary of eating unhealthy. I don't think I eat this, but I, I still do this a thumbs up. It, it tastes good. The last thing we're gonna be trying is vanilla ice cream and soy sauce. I just, I don't understand half of these things. I really don't. As you can tell, this has kind of been attacked and shoved into the freezer because we can have space, but sometimes you gotta make compromise. Well, cut that. Wow. Okay, that's literally just like overflowing. Take some vanilla ice cream. Fucking love vanilla ice cream, by the way. Oh, that'll be enough. And soy sauce in a water bottle because that's how we roll in this household. So I'm just gonna put a little bit. Cause I, I assume you wouldn't just douse your your ice cream and. Oh, maybe that was too much. Okay, yeah, well, we're just gonna stop there. Let me just kind of mix it up a little bit. All right, so this is what that looks like. Kind of looks like chocolate ice cream. It smells like soy sauce. Mm. Kind of smells like melted chocolate ice cream actually. Okay, it's not horrible. I think I used too much soy sauce. Too much soy sauce. I think it'd be good otherwise though, to be honest. Not something I would personally do. I give that a middle thumb because I don't know how I feel about that. It's very strange. Anyways guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for staying until the end and watching the whole entire video. I really appreciate you. And if you guys like this content, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. It lets me know that you guys enjoy this content and make sure to comment down below what you guys wanna see next. Until my next video guys, make sure to hit one of these videos, my past videos. Just pick one, that's all you gotta do. I'll sit here, I'll wait. I got like 10 seconds, I think. I'm counting in my head. I'm not good at counting. Just click one. <laughs> Be safe, make sure I'll catch you all later. Peace.